In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can integrate cosh x. So it's our hyperbolic form of the cosine function. And if we want to do this integration, the first thing we have to realize is that we have to change it into something else. We don't know the integral of cosh. So what we're going to say is that cosh is going to be re-expressed in terms of the exponentials. So the definition of the hyperbolic cosine function is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. And so we've actually got something that's a bit nicer to integrate. So instead of integrating something we don't know, we're going to integrate things that are a bit more familiar. And you can notice that there's actually two things that we need to integrate here. We need to integrate the e to the x, and we also need to integrate the e to the minus x. So we're going to take a factor of a half out of the integration and split this into two different integrations. So we're going to do the integral of e to the x, which is straightforward, and then the integral of e to the minus x that requires a little bit more thinking. So we'll do this first integration straight away, and that's simply going to give us uh, a half e to the x, because the integral of e to the x is simply e to the x. The second integration here, we have to think a bit more about it. You may know instantly what the answer is. Otherwise, you need to do a u substitution. So I'm going to take you step by step through how you actually do this integration. So I would say you would let u equal minus x. This is going to turn this into e to the u. So you'll integrate that in a similar way to this e to the x. But you also have to keep track of this dx. So you take the derivative of u, which is going to give us du dx. And this is going to give us minus 1. Derivative of minus x is, of course, minus 1. Rearrange that to get an expression of dx. We find that dx is minus du. So we can replace this minus x with u, and we can replace this dx with minus du, and we'll end up with this result. And so the integral of e to the minus x dx is actually going to be the integral of e to the minus u, replacing that minus x with u, and we're replacing dx with minus du. That's where that minus comes from. So we're actually doing this integration here. And so that's going to give you minus e to the u plus c. We're not really interested in e to the u. We're interested in the same form. So we need to substitute this u for minus x. And so we get this expression here. So we've now worked out this second integration. So if we come across here, we can replace that. So we now know that the integral of our cosh x is a half e to the x, which is our previous integration here. Then we replace this with our result that we found here. And we get this expression here. And we can remember that this is actually the same as this. So if we take that 2 and put that on the denominator, combine these, we get this expression. You should recall that our sinh function is defined as this. So what we can now say is that we can replace this with our sinh function. And so we get the final answer that our integral of cosh x is sinh x plus c. And there is your integration. So hopefully you followed this video and you can now integrate cosh x. And finally, thank you very much for watching.